Well, some time ago we got involved in uh, sponsoring Matthew Letizier's Football Academy and they have a fantastic academy there at Southampton that actually provides support for children and parents and coaches people through and coaches different types of skills than most football academies do. Anyway, so I was driving along the road a few weeks back and along uh, this phone call came and there was some strange guy at the other end and, oh, hi Darren, it's Francis Benali here. I hope you don't mind the call but you've been supporting the, the Football Academy at, at uh, Matthew Letizio's Football Academy. I wondered if I could talk to you about something. I've had this idea and I'm going to run a thousand miles in 20 odd days um, for cancer research and wondered if we could get together and have a meeting. The thing that I love about Francis, which just is epitomised by this ridiculous run that he's doing, is, is Big Heart. You know, Saints fans loved Francis because he ran his heart out for that team his whole career. And when he came in here and told me about this run that he's doing, I looked at him and I said, are you absolutely mad? You're going to run an average of, what, 35, 40 miles a day for 20 odd days with no break. You know, how are you going to do it? He didn't claim to be sensible about the whole thing at all. It was just Francis. And he's one of the loveliest guys you could ever meet. And he really wanted to do this. and and. Um, one of the things that, that was really important was that they had a, a great foundation to be able to complete the run. So in other words, the logistics involved of, of booking accommodation, being followed by cars, having the equipment they needed. You know, there's a whole real backup team that needs, needed to go into place. And Francis asked us if we could actually fund all of the logistics so that beyond that point, anything that was donated would go directly to the fantastic cause, which is obviously uh, Cancer Research UK. Well, Cancer Research is uh, not a charity that Forcom has actually donated direct to before. Um, our staff have done some fundraising events, dress down days, things like that, uh, for cancer charities, including Cancer Research. But I think the thing about cancer per se and cancer research is that there, is, there are virtually none of us who don't have a relative or a close friend who succumbed to cancer at some stage or another. So I believe it's a, it's a charity that's very, very close to all of our hearts. One of the things that we've tried to do at Forcom in the past is we've always been big donators to charity and um, quite often in, in some of the feedback surveys, some of the uh, things that the award things that we enter and feedback questionnaires we get from staff, uh, we were quite poorly rated by our staff on our contribution to the community and to charity. And so a couple of years ago, we made a conscious effort to start actually involving uh, the staff in, in fundraising events. And um, actually, it, it really has injected a huge amount of pride into the staff throughout the whole of the business and, and raised an awareness of exactly how much we do do. I think the biggest doubt about the whole thing still is uh, whether he can actually do it or not. This is not someone who's going to attempt something which is necessarily possible. This really is something incredible. To be able to run 30 odd 40 miles a day, 20, I think it's 23 or 24 days in a row, um, is just crazy. This is more than marathon distance a day. I suppose if, if, if anyone can do it, then maybe Francis can do it because uh, having watched him play football for years and years and years, I know how tenacious he is and how hard he tries for everyone and everything that he does. So um, I really believe in him and I, I, I think if anyone can actually do this, Francis can do it. So to donate, you just simply have to text BIGR55, then a space, then a pound sign, and then a three to donate three pounds and send that text to 70070 or you can go to the Just Giving website. Hi Franny, yeah it's Mark on the maintenance desk. I believe we met here a few weeks ago when you popped in. Just want to wish you all the best of your luck for your run. Hope it goes really well for you and say hello to Dejan Loff Run when you're at Anfield for me. Hi Francis, it's James and Cam here from the telemarketing department at Borcom. We'd both, uh, on behalf of the department, like to wish you the very best of luck with your challenge. What you're doing is absolutely amazing, so don't stop and keep going because you'll be able to do it. Fantastic charity, top effort, good luck to you mate. Hi, I'm Carl at Forcom. Just want to wish Franny all the best on his run. Good luck, mate. Just want to say a massive good luck, Franny. You're going to be awesome. Keep running. What I've got to say to you, Francis, is 
We're so proud of you even thinking to try and attempt this ridiculous run that you're doing. And from the bottom of all of our hearts here at Forcom, we wish you the very best of luck and we'd be very, very proud of you whether you complete it or not. But we really believe in you and I believe that you will make it.